case is put by the economist and broadcaster David McWilliams. The Irish housing market is a scam. It is an enormous financial swindle that could potentially confine an entire generation of young Irish workers to years of bad debt. Far from being a reflection of economic vitality and fundamental demand, the housing bubble is, in the main, a vacuous financial confidence trick that has been foisted upon us by an alliance of banks and landowners. Today in Ireland, the price of the average house is close to 10 times the average wage. This represents an economic failure on a monumental scale. Behind this nonsense is excessive and irresponsible lending from our financial institutions. The situation would be laughable if it weren't so serious. For example, where else in the world is mortgage lending rising eight times faster than people's incomes? More dangerously, the housing bubble has led to an unprecedented transfer of wealth from the young to the old, because it is the old who own the land. In contrast, in most societies, the old pass wealth onto the young. Here, the opposite has occurred. So bizarrely tonight, all around the country, young workers are financing old landlords. An interesting way to look at this is to think of taxation. A 10% rise in house prices is a 10% tax increase for the young and a 10% tax cut for the old. So the great Irish land swindle is impoverishing our young workers, the very people that are supposed to be the future of the country. So where is it all going to end? Like most things, there are pessimistic and optimistic ways of looking at the problem. Although the pessimistic, it'll all crash inevitably school, has been wrong to date, the fact that new house prices are set to rise by 20% this year at a time when rents are falling means that the optimistic prices will settle down and plateau off school has been wrong as well. Looking forward, with no economic tools at our disposal to rein in lending, the risk of falling house prices is rising by the year.